natural diet of cows is grass. But during the 20th century, the diet have changed and switched to, for example, soybean cakes and maize tollage. And the consequence of that is that it changed the composition of the meal, especially the ratio omega-3 to omega-6. And this type of diet increased also the methane emission of the cows. In 2002, this development led Danone to start a project where omega-3 rich flax seeds are reintroduced into cows' diets, supplemented by grass, hemp, and alfalfa. And the consequence of that is first to enrich the milk in good fatty acids, in omega-3, for example, but also to decrease the methane emission of the cows about 20%. You can see this blue thing in the neck of the cow. So it's like an uh, ID card. When the cow put her head in the machine, the machine recognizes what cow it is, and it adjusts the quantity of feed exactly to the production and the need of the cow. Okay? It's like an ID card. Okay? If I put, for example, that here, you can see that. Okay. the feeding is going down, okay? And this feed is a very special feeding. It's made from flax seeds. And this is in the uh, part of the program we call Linus. And by giving that to the cow, it enriches naturally the milk in omega-3. And also, it can decrease the methane emission of the cow, okay? So that is a complementary uh, feeding we give to the cow on top of the corn, on top of the grass they can eat and we adjust the quantity according to the initial feeding of the cow. And it's very appreciated by the cow, as you can see. This project is a good example of how we put sustainable agriculture into practice at the field level. At the same time, Sai Platform also works on a global scale. Together with the IDF, the International Dairy Federation, we committed to the Global Dairy Agenda for Action, an industry pledge to reduce carbon emissions. A truly unique commitment the dairy world had never seen before. But of course, we not only focus on dairy. In order to support the implementation of sustainable agriculture practices worldwide, SAI platform is also working with specific working groups for coffee, fruits, arable and vegetable crops, and water and agriculture. Every day the world population is increasing by 200,000 people. It actually is 1 billion people in the next 20 years alone and 2 billion people in the next 40 years. And it's absolutely crucial that obviously we provide safe and secure food supply. Currently, the world is facing severe shortages of food. Actually, one billion people are malnutritioned. Climate change, water, increasingly becoming issues that we have to deal with, including unsustainable farming. So this initiative that the industry started about eight years ago, the Sustainable Agricultural Initiative, is absolutely important and crucial for the future of our planet and for the future generations. To facilitate sustainable sourcing, SAI Platform commissioned a benchmark study to investigate and compare some of the most influential agriculture production standards worldwide. This way, SAI Platform helps member companies and their procurement teams through the myriad of certification and verification schemes. Sustainable farming is an absolute crucial element of ensuring that we provide a livelihood for many more generations to come. And about eight years ago, some great companies like Nestle, Danone, Unilever and others founded the Sustainable Agriculture Initiative. In order to share our knowledge with all member companies, SAI Platform regularly organizes conferences and seminars. For those who are not that familiar yet with sustainable agriculture, we have developed the brochure 
a short guide to sustainable agriculture. And together with the prestigious Swiss Executive Training Center, IMD, we have set up a training course on how to implement sustainable agricultural sourcing in your company. So this program involved 800 farmers in Normandy uh, and now it's rolled out in other countries like US, Spain, uh, Brazil or Belgium, for example. The, the yield of the cow is improved around 10% more or less and then the farmer can receive also more money because of the volume of the milk and also they receive some premium due to the better quality of the fatty acids of the, of the milk. Yeah, what is, what is amazing is in this eight years, the Sustainable Agriculture Initiative has really provided itself a leadership position in the area of sustainable consumption. And what uh, has been achieved is really best-in-class knowledge of what we have in sustainable consumption. And I frankly don't know any other organization or institution that can provide that depth of knowledge. Uh, we know what to do, we just have to apply it on a broader scale now. Over the years, SAI platform has become a respected reference on sustainable agriculture knowledge. For example, SAI platform was asked by UN Secretary General Mr. Ban Ki-moon to participate in a forum on the food crisis and the Millennium Development Goals. Also, SAI platform works together with many public institutions to build a collaborative relationship between the public and the private sector. Currently, I'm happy to report that we have already over 25 wonderful companies joining this initiative. It's a burning platform, it's a moral and an ethical issue, but it obviously cannot be solved by these 25 companies alone. And it is a request, an open invitation of many others to join the Sustainable Agricultural Platform and become part of this and ensure that this is not only a great wealth for this generation, but for many generations to come. This work was very done closely with the farmers. The farmers were involved from the beginning to the end of this uh, program. Due to the step-by-step -step approach in which the farmers all were visited, the project has been fine-tuned for each individual farm. By sharing the learnings of this pilot project in the site platform, we hope this new approach will be widely introduced to farms all over the world. Thank you.